Hey everybody, Dallas Fisher here, Montana Drone Company. Today, check out the drone we're flying here. This is the DJI Matrice 300. This is more of an industrial type drone that you can fly a lot of different missions on. And the cool part is this one, you can actually mount two different cameras that simultaneously to be taking all sorts of pictures. Now this one, I currently only have one mounted on here, but this camera, the X-T2, can actually take both regular RGB and it's taking thermal images at the same time. So this drone was sent to us from an Ohio company called Cattle Quaint that's developing a cow counting program. So they got hooked to us, Montana Drone Company fly some ranches in Montana. So sure enough, we got their setup and we just want to show you a couple different things about this drone compared to some other things we have. So one, you can see it's a lot bigger drone and from that takes a lot more battery power to keep it for longer flight times. Now really, you're only getting about 40 minutes max flying with this setup just because of how much more heavy it is. It's carrying more of a payload, especially depending on what cameras you might put on the bottom of it. Compared to, again, the other two we have here, you have like our Phantom and Mavic Air 2 where these are both rated at 30 minutes that you really get about 25 minute flight time. Now from all these, let's check out the size difference here as we come over. Again, this is the Matrice 300, this is the Phantom 4, and this is the Mavic Air 2. You can see how just the scale up of going from hobbyist to basic mapping, you know, video stuff, to this is an industrial style drone. It's also pretty cool here to check out the different types of remotes on here that you have, we'll start with the Mavic Air 2, which requires you to use a cell phone to fly off of. Just because of the, where the, the adapter that comes out to mount it, it can only go out about four inches. To the Phantom 4, this controller can handle up the most tablets. Again, we'll use sometimes a 10-inch tablet, but again, phones actually are brighter. They have more nits than tablets, so we usually still fly off our phones. But the Matrice 300 is flying with this all-in-one controller, the built-in display. You can actually set up mapping missions and everything right from the controller. Now, pretty awesome in this mapping system, you gotta check out the, the display that this setup gives you. You can see here that you can set up the mapping mission showing you the grid lines that it's gonna fly. You can also switch over to like the X-T2 camera. You can see exactly what it's looking at, both the RGB and the thermal image. Or you can flip over to its FPV camera that's always showing you directional sight, what it's seeing, what it's flying. And at times, like instead of being in Gallatin Valley where it's calm right now, back in Wheatland County, I had a couple ranches where it actually did, the drone is self-adjusting its flight because of the wind. Now, the drone's rated at 33 miles per hour. At the Wolf Ranch, I was hitting gusts right at 30, 32. Made it through it, but I had to go through a lot of batteries. However, at the Jones Ranch, just south of Harleton, it started gusting up to 40, so I was immediately done. I had to abort the flight. This is a pretty cool drone, a little bit bigger one. Again, getting to that industrial side, but we cover all aspects of video production and drone flights that if you need an industrial grade, you need a thermal camera, all the way down to basic video production with the smaller drones, whether it's in town, out town, for business, for real estate, we have you covered. So check us out, Montana Drone Company. Thanks for watching. Awesome.